We have been raising chickens for 14 years. We started because we wanted the fresh eggs. Homegrown eggs are superior to store-bought eggs from factory farms. We eat eggs for breakfast nearly every morning. There are so many ways you can fix eggs and so many different dishes you can make with eggs. Look what I found. Well, a regular egg. egg. That's a regular egg. Uh -huh. And then I find this. Oh, wow. Oh. Tiny one. I wonder why that's so small. Mm. Cool. I don't know. I wonder if there's a little chicken in there. <laughs> They're a good source of protein. But we also wanted some chicken meat as a backup supply in the event that something drastic would happen and we needed to put meat on the table. So I endeavored to learn how to process chickens so that I would know how to do it and that I would feel comfortable doing it. I don't mind gutting them. I've done it so many times now it's become second nature to me. The only part I dislike is the killing part. We put up this white fence to half hide the ugliness that the coop and the pens become over time. They looked pretty and cute and nice when everything was new. But after a while, everything becomes dirty looking and messy and we just get tired of looking at it. Spider webs have moved in. This place is looking kind of creepy. There's so many spider webs. My goodness, this place looks creepy. And there's dust attached to them. The place is so dirty. <laughs> we usually clean this up and throw it in the compost. The sun is going down and the hens are gathering inside the coop up on the roost. They go down before the sun goes down. The roosters are still out. They're the last ones to put themselves to bed. Well, we've come to the end of an era. My husband and I have decided that we are done with chickens. The chicken poop, cleaning up the coop and all that. We're downsizing our life for a more simple existence. My husband makes too much rice when he cooks dinner. I tell him, you make too much rice. It's, it'll go to waste. He says, no, it won't. The chickens will eat it. I think he does it on purpose so he can feed the chickens. Anyways, they love it. Raising chickens is not really hard. One problem is that whenever we want to take a trip, we always have to get someone to come and tend all of our animals, which is a bit of a pain. Plus, we have a good friend that has over 100 chickens and they provide the best quality eggs. That's their family business and we want to support them. We've decided that we will no longer raise our own birds, but buy from our friends who also raise meat birds that we help them to process for some extra free meat. They give us meat for, for helping them out, but we also buy chickens from them. We also buy pig from them because right. they raise pigs. Maybe some of them raise beef. They have a cow. They got two cows now. So this weekend, we will take our small flock of nine to our friend's house as she will be processing her mean roosters because flocks don't thrive when you have too many roosters. We've seen that even with our small flock. And there's another lady who's coming and she needs to call her flock. So she's got some chickens. I don't know how many, but she's got some chickens she needs to get rid of as well. So with five or six of us adults, we can all share in the process and we can get it done in just a matter of a few hours. And we'll all go home with fresh meat in our freezer. Then we will dismantle this old coop that is practically falling apart anyway. We have modified this coop so many different times. It used to be a woodwork shop or a tool shop. The previous owners, we turned it into a chicken coop. And we've modified it a hundred times, it seems like. We got a chicken door there, a chicken door there. We built this kind of a penned off area so we need to separate when we have new chicks. We did have a little space here where we would have like a mama with her babies, if she had a couple of babies. 
but we tore that out and we store the extra shavings and straw here. You can kind of see there's holes in the walls that have developed over time. So it's just the whole thing is just getting messed up. Our coop had three separate outside pens, each accessed by a small door. Having the different areas enabled us to separate the flock whenever necessary, such as when we had too many roosters. It's never good to have more than one rooster. It's just hard on the ladies. Small pen on this side. We initially built it for a place that would protect baby chicks so they could have an outdoor space with access to inside the coop. But everything has gotten old and worn out apart. And the chickens peck at the walls, so we've had to throw, put a few patches there because there were holes in the wall. And there's a back pen, which is a shady spot because it's uh, mostly covered. About half of it's covered all the way to here. And there's a roost in there, and there's a swing in there. And this has been one of the favorite places the chickens have enjoyed. And we did add chicken wire around the bottom to keep baby chicks out if we have a bigger batch of babies. Back pen, I mean a side pen over here, you can see that where the chickens have kind of excavated the root to that big old tree. They just dig and dig and dig. They're constantly digging coming rotten and falling apart. So we're going to tear this all apart and reclaim this area for ourselves. As you can see, there's green grass on the other side of that fence. Over here, where the chickens are, there's no grass. Well, there can't be too much grass growing because of the tree cover, but still, there might be some grass that, grow, that grew in here if there were not chickens. But if there's green stuff, the chickens will eat it. And over here, this is our burn pile, where we burn all the yard waste. With as many trees as we have on the property, we constantly... Do I see an egg in the ash pile? Yep. Who laid an egg in the ash pile? My goodness. Guess that's going to be a dirty egg. This is the main rooster. And the other rooster is back there trying to avoid the main rooster, so the two don't get along. And because they don't get along, the second rooster sleeps up in the tree with his girl. He has one girl that's loyal to him. I guess I need to go collect that egg. Looks like a good size egg. Get rid of the chickens. We'll demand, dismantle the chicken coop in the pens. And we'll remove this fence that we put up on the perimeter, which goes all the way around, giving the chickens a very large area. And Probably let the forest just kind of regrow back here, but we'll probably keep an ash pile because we have to have one place, a good place to uh, burn all the yard waste, the extra leaves and fallen branches. We are constantly having to pick up branches. But now we shall dismantle all of it, burn the wood, haul the wire to the dump, take down the surrounding fencing we had put up to keep the neighborhood dogs from attacking our flock, and perhaps let the forest reclaim this area once again. Or we might just build a garage. My husband has expressed that he would like to have a garage to work on vehicles inside instead of out on the sandy ground and the out of doors. Plus, I have this huge pine tree that stands between the coop and far too close to my house that I'm concerned about. It leans toward my house, and I worry about it falling down, destroying my home. When the coop, pens, and fence are gone, it will be easier to get someone in here to take down that big tree for my peace of mind. Well, we've come to the end of an error. My husband and I have decided that we are done with chickens. The chicken poop, cleaning up the coop, and all that. 